Good Thursday morning, Northern Michigan. It's now 623 and it has been a large outbreak in the measles lately, kind of cut, getting some national attention. So this morning I'm joined by Dr. Michael Collins with the Health Department covering Grand Traverse, Benzie and Leelanau counties. Yeah. And one, good, morning. good morning. One thing that a lot of people are kind of wondering, maybe they haven't really seen the measles, is what exactly it is and what it looks like. Yes, very few of us have seen measles, even most doctors have not. Measles is a virus disease. It's one of those that, one of the 14 diseases that are covered by childhood immunizations, which is why we see it uh, very seldom anymore. Um, it's a pretty uh, serious disease. It starts with just uh, cold-like and flu-like symptoms, but within a few days it progresses to a rash that covers the whole body and uh, the child is really miserable, has to be kept from scratching and, uh, at, at the rash, and it's capable of causing major complications, especially pneumonia and inflammation of the brain. Right, so it does cause even more health complications in addition to being miserable for a few days. And, and actually, in, in quite a high proportion of the kids who get measles will get these major complications as well, yes. And it is also very contagious as well. Exactly how contagious is that? It's very contagious. It's the kind of disease where if uh, a child was on a bus, uh, probably almost everybody on that bus who was not immune to measles uh, would, would develop measles. Wow. It's, a, it's spread over the air by coughing and sneezing. The droplets Being get out in into the- Being in close proximity with other people. Yeah, or not even so close that it, uh, it's capable of traveling quite a distance over the air. Oh. So if someone is infected with the measles, do they become immune to it? from that point or could they be susceptible to it again? Yes, once they get the, the true measles, they're, uh, they're probably immune for life. And if they get vaccinated, we expect the protection to last for life as well with uh, this particular virus disease. And this outbreak is affecting a lot of people and there's really no actual treatment for the measles. You really can only help the person by treating the symptoms of it. Treating the symptoms and the complications if they develop. Yes. Right, so it's really something that just you have to let it run its course. Once you get it, it's, you know. Your miserable your child is miserable for quite a number of days, yes. Wow, absolutely. So in order to kind of prevent it, to preventive measures, there's a vaccine for it, but how do people, what's the best method to decide whether that's right for your child? Well, I, I happen to think it's probably right for practically every child as uh, vaccinations in general are. But every family has to decide for themselves, and uh, so I would encourage people to become educated as much as possible. I think the more people become educated about the relatively small dangers of vaccination and the importance uh, of be, you're having your child vaccinated against all 14 of the conditions that are prevented now by, by baby shots, uh, and if they talk it over with their personal caregiver, physician, uh, I think uh, I think people will decide that it's important to vaccinate their children. Absolutely. I hope so. Because it's important not only for your child, but also for your child's playmates and schoolmates. And, and everyone the they come in contact with. It's a matter of citizenship as well as uh, protecting your own child, yes. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Collins, for giving